In this video, we present an early stage, real-time, sketch-based stereoscopic storyboard tool. The stereo images in this video can be viewed with red cyan anaglyph glasses. For those of you who do not have glasses, we will show you some of the images using the wiggle technique later on in this video. Recently, there has been a resurgence in stereoscopic media. Yet, there are few tools to plan stereo 3D, which is different than 2D, as one needs to consider concepts such as object placement, plane separation, parallax position, depth budget, and depth scripts, to name a few. Currently, if stereo is discussed, it usually is indicated by line shading, line thickness, or color variation on a storyboard, or it is left until later in production once decisions have already been made. These techniques are insufficient as they rely on a person's interpretation and misdiscussing stereo concepts that are important for depth design. With Storyboard, we provide a rich set of features to address these unique stereo issues, but maintain a visually simplistic interface so as not to impede the artistic's creative process. Let's have a look. What we see here is the sketching window, which is divided into two areas, the sketch surface and the depth slider. The way we achieve stereo is by treating the drawing volume as a stack of transparent sheets. Since Storyboard artists often think in planes, this was a logical extension. The artist can simply pick the plane on which they wish to draw and start drawing. What they see will be in stereo. We can add lines to the sketch surface with the pen, using pressure to control thickness. The depth slider on the left allows us to choose a plane on which we wish to draw, with the top being further back and the bottom being closer to the user. If we move the slider down, we can now draw in front of the previous plane. And if we move it up, we can draw lines behind what is already on the screen. You may have noticed that any time I start drawing on a new plane, a thumbnail is created in the slider. This allows me to see how I'm using my depth budget and the strokes that exist on each plane. These thumbnails also give me handles to manipulate the planes. We can select a single thumbnail and move the contents of the plane forward or backwards in the drawing space. Further, we can select multiple planes and either move the contents, changing their parallax position, or change the plane separation between the planes by pinching in and out. Being a storyboard tool, the user can flip back to the previous frame or forward to the next frame at any time by tapping on the left edge for back and the right edge for forward. Using the pinch gesture displays the storyboard view showing all the panels within a scene in stereo, including bars representing the depth budget of each panel. Tapping a thumbnail will open the sketch window for that panel. Tapping a depth bar will load the depth script window. Within the depth script, we see a depth bar for each panel in a scene. This allows users to ensure a smooth transition from one moment to the next and spot inconsistencies in the progression. The parallax position of each panel can be adjusted by sliding the corresponding bar, or the user can squish or stretch the bar to change the amount of depth used in a panel. Here are examples of some of these concepts being used. 